Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. I know I am, and I'm really excited to get into this um, third part of our game development here. We've got our truck, our cloud, and our cactus, and we are now capable of jumping with our truck. So we're about to get in and start making this interactive, the part where we actually get to have some things happen. So if you haven't already, I would suggest you go back and watch parts one and part two. That's where we created the, the beginning of this game. Be sure to like and share if you enjoy this video. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've got everything moving, but we're not getting any interaction between our truck and our cactus. So that's just a simple if statement. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. In control, we're going to go find this if statement, and I'm just going to drop it in our draw loop. And if in this statement, we just want to find out if our player, this truck, is touching our cactus. So we go down, we find the is touching block, and we can drop that in. And we know we got player. And we've got our enemy, right? Our cactus is our enemy. I'm just going to copy that and paste that in there. So if player is touching enemy, what do we want to happen? Well, in the version I showed you, the game simply ends. So if we were doing, uh, making that game, the T-Rex game in Chrome, once the T-Rex hits the cactus, it stops. It's over. Game is done. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go and just create a game over screen. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to go to the backgrounds. And I'm just going to grab desert right here. Okay. Done. I could take a little bit more time and make this a little better. But I'm just going to grab my pen tool. Let's see, do I want it a little bigger? Yeah, I'm going with the second block over and I'm just gonna write on here, game over. Now I have seen people put on here, you lose or something like that. Uh, I am just going to make it game over. you can put what you would like on here. Or if you didn't want it to end right there, you could create a variable for health and then eventually make your, your vehicle, you know, die over time. You could give it lives or something like that. I'm talking and not writing and All right, there we go. Game over. A little hard to write with the mouse, I know. I wish they had a type tool in here. They don't. We could go find a screen that just said game over on it that someone else had made, or we could make it in something else. But you know what? For this, this is fine. So here's the thing. If the player is touching the enemy, we want to switch our background to game over. So here we go. Let's hit run. We've got our sky blue background, right? We're going to create a game over variable. So I'm going to hit reset. Or sorry, not a variable, but a sprite. There it is way up at the top. All right. I'm just going to call it in game. It's fine. And I'm going to give it a visibility of false. That means that you can't see it at the start of the game. So our end game. Oops. Here's false. All right. So then when it touches, it's going to become true. So visibility, oops, our game over, 
true. And let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. I didn't give it a image. So I got to give it an animation. I can't believe I forgot that. So here we go. It was desert. Run. Now when it touches, let's see what happens. There we go. I like that. Okay. Now, for now, this is working for us. We're going to see a problem that occurs a little bit later. But there's our end game. I like that. Works really well. Okay. So, next step. Reset. We need to get a score up here. They have a score. We need to get a score. So let's go ahead and add that. Now that's going to be a variable. There's variables. And we want to create a variable. So I'm going to put it right down here under end game. And we're going to create this variable. Okay. So var, I'm going to call it score. And score is going to be set to zero. Makes sense. Now, automatically you get this yellow triangle. It's just saying that we haven't used it. We created this thing called score, but we haven't used it in our program. So let's go down and do that now, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to do score is going to end up upping our score every time we go past the end. So if the cactus makes it to the end, we're going to get a point. We can also do it on our truck when it jumps up and comes back down. Um, let's do it that way. Yeah, let's do it. So every time our truck goes up and comes down, we're going to get a point. So here's where our truck's going up and down. So let's go ahead and put our score in there. So this time we want to use our x equals. Okay, so x equals, well, it's score. And we're going to do score, I'm just typing this in there. So score equals score plus one. Let's give it a try. See if I can jump over the cactus without dying. He's over the first one. Well, that looks good. If I want to do a watcher down here, I could end up putting a watcher in and seeing, but right now we really can't tell, right? So I need to create my score on the screen. So here we go. We need to be able to see it. We got to put text on the screen so we can see our score. So to do that, we're going to go into drawing. Okay. And we are going to do a couple things. We're going to write the word score, and then we're going to put the actual value of score on there. So to begin with, I'm going to go get a color. Okay. So I want a fill color. And I'm going to do this under the draw sprite so it pops up on top. If you do it underneath, you won't be able to see it. So yellow's fine for now. I'll be good with that. Okay. Now you need the text one where it says text and it's STR. That stands for string. Oh, you know what? Let's make it a little larger. Sometimes the text font's a little small. So we can go to text size. And I think I'm just going to do something like 25. Now I'm going to grab our text string and I'm going to keep the, you see how we got the quotation marks? Keep those. And I'm going to type a capital S for score. And I think I'll keep it at that location. Okay, 0, 15. That works fine. Now I need to do the actual score. So it's the same thing text string, but this time I don't want to write the word score on there. I want the computer to write the value of score. Now remember, I did a lowercase s for score. 
that lower case tells the computer that is that, that variable. Not having the quotation marks also tells the computer that's not my, that's um, my variable, okay? So we have 0, 015, 0, 015. We don't want to go in that exact same place. I'm going to do something like 75. That should move us uh, horizontally across the screen. And we'll leave it at that 15. Let's see what happens. Reset, run. I've got the word score. It could come down a little bit, but I'm okay with it there. Now, I went up and over. Woo! And then I hit. And I got 13. So I'm not really liking the way that that's adding my score. It's kind of keeping my score going up while I'm in the air. So while I'm above the, the vehicle, it's adding my score. I could do every time I hit the up key. Let's just put it in there and see how it works there. Run. It's zero. I go up. Whew, that's three already. We'll try one more and see how it works. Five. I think what's happening if I hold my key down, do you see how? Yeah. So people could end up cheating that way. So here's what's going to happen. To solve that problem, I'm going to drag it up. And every time my enemy goes by the screen, that's when I'm going to get my points. Okay. So if the enemy, I put it above when it moves. That way it just happens before the cactus moves back to the beginning of the screen. So I'm over. My score is still zero. By the time I come back down, that cactus is off. There's one. And now it doesn't matter if somebody tries to hold the arrow key up or whatever, I'm still only getting one point. And that works for me. I like that. Okay, we're doing good. Now, what else do we need on this? Let's make sure our end screen still works the way we want. So we have our cactus. It goes there, scores still. But you know what? Oh, no, it's still going. And the reason for this is I haven't stopped all the motion. So let's fix that problem real quick, too, okay? So if enemy is touching, the only thing I need to do in here, go back into my sprites, my velocities. I got a velocity Y on that cactus. So my enemy... Right, that's my, yep, I call them enemy. Got to make sure. Sometimes I use different names for the enemy. I could have used cactus or something like that. Mine was enemy. I'm going to just set its velocity to zero. Now the minute I hit a cactus, the cactus stops. There's going to be no more score that can occur. I'm going to move that up above. Oh, that was Y. Boy. Good thing we did that. All right. There we go. Now it's going to stop the cactus as soon as we touch, and then no score will occur. Beautiful. I like that. It came out good. Now, uh, there's one other thing that I have done in here um, that I will save for another video. And that's just the way, I'll jump over there, to make, if you watch my cactus, there's one cactus, oops, I forgot how to play this one. There's one cactus that changes back and forth. And in code.org, it's a little bit more difficult. Are you serious? I can't even play my game. It's a little bit more difficult to make a sprite change between different costumes or different animations. In like Scratch, it's very easy to change what that cactus looks like each time it comes by. But in code.org, it's a little bit more challenging. So each time this cactus comes by, it's just a random look. And it doesn't change our game much. 
but it does add a little bit of character to it. If you think about the dino game, there's one cactus, maybe two cactus, three cactus, and so on. I haven't seen my third cactus yet. Hopefully it comes up soon so that I can show that to you as well. Well, it is not going to come up across. The other thing is, is we can change the speed. So in the next one, so you can see my animation on the cactus. We didn't get to see this one, but I changed the cactus each kind of each time it was scrolling by. So if that's something that's interesting to you, be sure to check back for that final video. Until then, happy coding. Hope you're having fun.